Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how you can use slugs or anything else in your URL or URIs actually um, instead of an ID? So let's dive in it and I'll show you how I like to use a different key in my routes. Here we go. All right, so as always, I have my little demo um, project here with books. Uh, and as you can see, I, when I click a book like, for example, this one here that is published, if I click edit in the URL, I have books for slash edit. So we can actually um, yeah change this uh, yeah pretty easily. For example, when we pass in the, uh, let's say, in every, in here, sorry, I have an ESBN number right here. So if I just add, instead of the ID to the, whoops, instead of the ID, I just add ESBN, right? So if I refresh here and I inspect this element, you can see I have an ID. If I click that, yeah, of course it's not found. Why is that? Because we have in our routes here, sorry, in our controller, let's say book controller, we have actually a route model binding called book book. So how can we actually, yeah, for example, if this would be um, just an ID, for example, then we, we, we could do uh, like book is equal to get me the book uh, and find the ID in there and something like that, but that's kind of dirty and, and that's actually one step back, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the book model here and we're actually going to add um, somewhere in this file, a public, whoops, a public uh, function uh, that's called get route key name. There it is, get route key name. And we will say, yeah, well, uh, return the ESBN. Uh, if you want to work with slugs, uh, just write slug in here and that will work. So ESBN. So for every uh, request um, that comes in to this controller, the route model binding won't use the ID to get the book, but it will use the ESBN as the yeah primary key, as you will. Um, and that will result in exactly the same thing as uh, when we're using an ID. So if I refresh this page again, as you can see, it worked. And we now have books, the ESBN number, slash edit. And if I save, for example, I took the UT Vitae non quo. Yeah, you know, you know what I did. And I'm going to just to, just to showcase that it works um, in review instead of published. And it's not found because book, of course, we made a mistake. It's linking back to number four. So if I refresh this page again, and if I, I surely have to add into the edit page as well, in here, instead of ID, ESBN. There we go. Refresh, put it to in review, save, boom. There we go. And this one here is now in review. So that's how I like to use the get route key name uh, to work with slugs or which, with ESBN in this uh, example here to, um, yeah, to get a more clearer URL. So that's it for today. And I hope you learned something from it. Like and subscribe and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.